SAT and or ACT preparation should begin in the elementary school. The earlier you start preparing, the cheaper and less stressful it gets. There are two ways elementary students can begin their preparations for college entrance exams. There's a program through Duke University called Duke Tip. Please see my Duke Tip video. Secondly, a student can make sure that absolutely every concept is mastered on the yearly standardized tests, otherwise known as benchmark exams. To learn more about how your student can get involved in the Duke University TIP program, visit their website at tip.duke.edu. This is a national program, so you do not need to live near Duke University. Duke University TIP has programs for fourth grade all the way through twelfth grade. Make sure your student masters every concept on the benchmark. Duke University TIP uses the state benchmark exams as well as some national tests to determine eligibility into the TIP program. Even if you do not want to get involved in the Duke TIP program, benchmark exams serve for a fantastic precursor to the PSAT, SAT, and ACT prep. Curriculum is pretty standardized across the country, so even a state-mandated exam can be a great prep for a national exam such as the SAT. States have their own benchmark exams for public schools. Private schools have their own as well. But if yours doesn't, then use the state-mandated benchmark exams for practice. Maximize the learning of each exam by remembering its purpose to show students what they don't know. Unmastered concepts usually come back and haunt students who have not taken the time to go back and study them. Look at the test scores and correct all missed problems. Take another practice test. There are usually several versions available online. If a student makes less than a 75 percent, then tutoring should be imperative. These benchmarks provide the guidelines of all the concepts that should be mastered. There are usually study guides and practice tests available on the test website. Even if your student sc scored high, the study guides and practice tests make for great summer enrichment. Additionally, if your student is not yet in the sixth grade, benchmark exam preparation is the way to go. Students generally aren't ready for the PSAT preparation until the sixth grade. Remember, go to the benchmark exam website for study guides and practice tests. Be sure to keep the test results. They usually list specifically which concepts need the most attention. Don't forget YouTube either. YouTube has some great lessons. The PSAT stands for Pre-SAT, and there are more than one. The first PSAT is the PSAT 8-9 for 8th and 9th graders. Please do not wait until the 8th or 9th grade to start prepping for the PSAT 8-9. Most students can start preparing for it in the 6th grade. After the PSAT 8-9, a student can take the PSA 10 for 10th graders. The PSA 10 is the equivalent to the PSAT NMSQT, which stands for the National Merit Scholar Qualifying Test. This exam opens the doors to college scholarships. Finally, there is the SAT. This is the real one whose scores go on the college application. Still have questions? Then visit my website at besttutorforschool.com.